Right, good there evening, go. everybody. Oh, she wasn't finished talking, recording in progress. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Wednesday webinar. Right, there's a small handful of, of us on tonight for the Easter holidays. Um, at the end of the project, Clean Sweep uh, Leader Zoom, I did ask if there was any suggestions. So I'd imagine if there was anything in particular that you would like to see covered that you would ask. But I have got some PowerPoints open, but if anybody wants to um, request anything, have a brainstorm, have uh, talk about any aspect of the business or before I talk. Yes, Jeff. Yeah, can, can I jump in? Yep. Um, I've, um, as you've probably seen, um, I went to an area a couple of periods ago, put out 200 catalogues, got absolutely nothing, lost about 40 catalogues, um, no response whatsoever. Um, well, I wasn't having that, I wasn't going to be defeated and just walk away. So I presented 25 catalogues and got only got two orders, which is two better than last time. <laughs> One for £52, the other for £44. That's excellent. Woo! Brilliant. Well done. So, um, First question, so you presented 25. Yeah. Um, the £52, the lady wasn't going to order anything. She thought I was someone else. Someone had knocked a brick wall down in the drive, and I heard all the story about that. And, and we must have stood on the, on the doorstep for 10, perhaps 15 minutes, just chatting. And then she said, oh, I will have one. So, um, and uh, so yes, I was quite hopeful that she would buy something. Um, and she was the one who ordered £52 worth. Um, that's, that's fantastic. And mm -hmm. so um, Janet asked me, so when you go there again, are you going to present or a blanket drop? I said, let me think about that, Janet. <laughs> so well, how, many, how, many, how many doors did you knock on, Jeff, to get the 25 out, roughly? Um, there were about 85 in the, um, right. in the road. So, <coughs> That was all right. Like one in that's better than one in four. Yeah, yeah, it was close to one in three at times. Okay, so um, Tuesday, I continued in the same area. I've now got fifty catalogues out. Mm -hmm. um, I went to one hundred and sixty-five houses. Excuse me while I read. Um, look at this. Um, let's try and think. I think. Um, 79 of them, 47% weren't there, so I didn't get any reply. 36 said no, um, that's 21%, but 50 did, so that's 30%. That's excellent. One and I'm three. picking them up tomorrow. <laughs> so the, the, the story continues oh, yeah. tomorrow. That's excellent. Yeah. I mean, that's um, especially if people want the blanket drop. What's, I mean, do you just, as your goal, just to have a chat with them or do you have a script? Um, I, I just say, um, I, I'm just, um, just like to know if you're interested in looking through our home shopping catalogue and handing the catalogue. And if they want to chat, I, I chat, but most people just kind of open the door, um, hold the dog back or the children. And then, um, you know, take it or not. So we'll see. I did have a chat with one of them um, and quite a long chat. Um, she'd got her arm in a, a cuff and a huge bruise down her elbow um, here from, you know, from her shoulder to her elbow. Apparently she'd been off um, with long COVID for 17 weeks and then walking back um, from her mum and dad's place had tripped over a speed bump Oh, and yeah. broken her shoulder. Oh, good heck. So um, it looked like a really vivid tattoo. It was multicolored. Oh. Um, but she said, Oh, I'd be delighted to have something to look through. <laughs> and she said, If I if I've been rushed into hospital, I said, Well, just leave the catalogue on the doorstep. I said, um, if you're not there, I'll put a, a note through and I'll pop back on a Friday if it's OK to come on Good Friday. She said, well, if I'm in hospital, um, I, I won't put it out. I said, oh, don't worry. If that happens, then I'll collect it next time. So um, I'm, I'm looking at my results here. 
I've been tracking, of course. Um, last time I spoke, I was, I think, just short of um, VIP. I've now cleared VIP by £119.85. And I'm £85.15 short of 1000 which is why I'm putting catalogues out to see if I can get that other £80 on. Excellent. Well done. Well done, Jeff. Yes. Thank you. Now, did you see that I put this into the official group yeah. and Jeff, Jeff Locke responded to it and said, oh, putting in 200 catalogues <clears throat> and not getting an order at all is not uncommon. And I thought, do what? Now, Patrick, yeah, tell I mean, a person, join up for £45 with 200 catalogues and you'll put them out, you'll lose lots and you won't get an order. <laughs> what kind of business is that? So, yeah, I think when we're talking about catalogues, we, unless we're going to people that we actually know, and if you've got a, um, a former customer base, I think presenting is, is the way to go ahead if people can find the courage to do it. I think I think I still would say that I would give pluses and minuses to both of them. Yeah. Um, because just simply because of the fact that Nigel and Amanda consistently retail almost three thousand pounds every four weeks. Yeah. And they've only had 50, 75 Queen Easy customers. So they have built that up just on the perception and maybe if they're lucky, you get two or three customers a week. But um, yeah. definitely, Jeff. I, um, I don't know how everybody else feels, but I kind of agree. If people can muster up that courage, um, this might be a better time to be doing the, the door knocking and giving that a try. Yeah. Well, well done. That's a great story. Well done. Thank you. Anybody else want to share anything, a story, or anything? Jane? Can, can I? The, we presented when we first started cataloging That's over right. 20 years ago, um, probably because there was lots of people around then who did catalogues. So you get both sides of it. You know, you get all the people who they've never heard of the company or you have lots of people who have heard of the company and have got preconceptions. Uh, the only thing I would say is, we did it at night time and found that was the best time to do it. And yeah, even absolutely. then, it was one in three. And But sometimes you had to go to 40 doors before you got your one yeah, in three average. So I don't know that things have changed a great deal, to be fair. No, 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 I, I that's see probably that was... what I'm saying that story for. Yeah, and I, to be honest with you, I think one in three, to get that for the VVMK to be on a parallel, I think that's why I'm excited about it. Um, that's really, really good. Uh, I, know, I mean, Kevin and Lisa, I know they've, they're doing a bit of blanket dropping now, but they've also built their customer base up to well over a thousand. Um, we're knocking on doors as well. Uh, we've got Debbie training. Kate raised her hand. Chris says, well, okay, I can't see you. <laughs> Have you got a light? <laughs> Can you the eye when you've got yourself on mute? Ask to unmute. Ask to unmute. Done that. Sorry. <laughs> I had to put the screen off for two seconds, and when I came back on, the light had gone. I don't it's, know if it's what. Like that. Anyway. Yeah. But I, I, the only reason I had put my hand up was to say that while. Um, while we were talking about whether there was a, a Thursday Zoom with Michael next week, I actually messaged Michael to ask, and I said we're, we're on Zoom tonight just to promote it, and he's confirmed that there is a Michael Zoom next Thursday night, so just to let everybody Excellent. know, it's definitely on. Excellent, okay. thank you for that. Kate, take your hand down. I will. <laughs> Does anyone feel that maybe the day after the end of the period is a time for teams to do the recognition? even if it's a quiet, you know, rather than a company. Mm -hmm. I, I quite I like know. Michael's, I quite like Michael doing a, an update at the beginning of the period because it, it kind of resets after the end of the last period, I think. I, I really like it being that day. Mm. That's just me, but I really like it being that day. No, I, I agree, Kate. I like finding out what's coming next, but that's just because I'm nosy. 
I heard just that's because I'm nosy. <laughs> that was Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I was I mean, just I saying that. I, like... I, I, I'm just, you know, you just to be, to be fair to Jane, I'm, in, I'm, I'm the same as you, Jane, but then uh, we're outvoted hen. <laughs> Sorry? I'm saying I'm the same as you, but we're outvoted. <laughs> no, no, it's, I just raised it because, you know, at the end of the day, it's a network marketing company. Yep. It's, and the network is run by the leaders in the network. Um, and, you know, that's that's my only comment. Mm -hmm. so, I think it's oh. trying to do it for HQ point of view. Hopefully he'll stick to that. <laughs> Anybody else want to share anything? Or will I, I was, <clears throat> Yeah, can I just share, um, I, I take Jane's point, going in the evening is a better time. If there are lights on, there's probably someone in. Um, the first 24 I did from 11 to about two, to half past two, um, and I, yeah, put out 24. The next 26, I went from uh, half past three, to about half past five. So it did speed up uh, um, after, after the school run. After the school run. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're, if you're happy to accept, a, a lot of, like say there was 47 no in, um, mate, I mean, I probably would have popped a book through the doors. Did you bother to pop a book through the door of the ones that were in? No, I'd only got 40 and I wanted, there was only one that I've done spoken to hands. before That's... and uh, she was a, an ex-Avon lady and said, yeah, drop, drop it in next time. Yeah. Um, but I only, um, apart from that one, every other one I actually handed to someone because yeah. um, it seems to be a mixture of people there. And I, I spoke to somebody, some people who were non-English and whose culture wasn't to look through catalogues. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, we have difficulty with that because, you know, um, some cultures, um, even if they're um, European, um, just don't know what to do with catalogues. So, um, you know, so I'd much rather speak to people and actually hand one rather mm -hmm. than put a catalogue through the door and lose it. Or in this case, you know, I may or may not get it back. Well, I did yes. get one back that had been on the doorstep since I was there last time, but it hadn't been there the three times that I went. <laughs> Maybe they've been waiting on you coming. Oh, I missed that guy the first time. <laughs> well done, though. That's great. It's good to know because, um, as you say, if people have the confidence, um, and we know that we're getting more success stories. Here's Nigel and Amanda. Tell them they've missed the training. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just having a sizzle now, so we're it's just really just having a sizzle. I was going to cover um see what time it is, but we're just having a sizzle. Anybody else wanting to add in and fill in? I don't want to talk to Angie because she's driving. <laughs> but I will say hi, Angie, because I know you can hear us. <laughs> just drive carefully, don't look at the screen. <laughs> I think Nigel's waiting to connect. Um, yeah, then uh, what we were talking about before you came on was Jeff's success story mm -hmm. when he's been knocking on doors, but we won't get him to repeat it. Uh, you have to watch the video. <laughs> when I put it into the A team. Um, but but what, I, what I suggested, because I noticed that, um, well, there's some of you here that do online and catalog but um i noticed jeff i noticed you were posting a lot of products are these all going on to your wall um they're going onto instagram and then being copied onto my wall and um also i'm putting them into uh, my shop and um into the marketplace excellent um for, if, if abby is there she, she can see this I'm writing lines out to um, get my affirmations going. So Goodbye, I, well done. I'm writing uh, mostly 10 times a day. I'm becoming excellent at selling products online 
and showing others how to do the same. So that's my affirmation. And I'm writing it 10 times a day and then getting a, an action statement. I will post three products online now and a recruitment post, which is what I'm trying to get done every day. Excellent. So I'm, I'm trying to create that habit. I will make sure to give you a gold star next time I see you, Mr. <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> you got, got the, is it not a bronze star? No, no, we can have a gold one. It's a gold, can have one. gold one. As, as long as it uses capital letters and full stops. This is why I make a terrible teacher. I think if you give him a gold star, well, we can always have a platinum one. Hello, Nigel and Amanda, how are you? Did you enjoy your bike ride? She's eating something. You can just say yes or no. <laughs> and uh, they got faces full of food. <laughs> yeah, we just got some uh, Chris Moore back. Yeah, it's pretty good. We got back early tonight, so I was uh, able to come on for a bit. <laughs> have a wee bit of fun. We've just been yeah, having a sizzle. <laughs> yeah, it's a charity bike ride. It's every Wednesday, and it's a different pub in the Cotswold, but it's all for the ambulance. All right. Obviously, for, for the last two years, it's not been on. It's it's the first one tonight. All right. Well, that's good. I'll good put a video on later, have everything, see what's going on with the, the motorbikes and the charity. Oh, that's excellent. We, we know what you're doing. We have, and Big Brother has his eye on you. We've seen it on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I put that on Instagram, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Oh, well, Instagram, I'll put things on Instagram, I guess, on the Facebook. Seen it, so maybe it was Instagram. Can't yeah. It shares to Facebook as well, but I don't get it yet. I'll get there eventually. Well, we still had Big Brother still has his eye on you. Um, <laughs> now, well, what I was going to cover since, um, I mean, mostly these Zooms are the people who are plugging into the leaders group, which is why I'm thinking we had one on the Monday to have one on the Wednesday last week was a bit um, brain freeze. I put the wrong date in there and there was a few of you couldn't manage onto that one. So, but these ones in the middle, we can call them the trainers in the middle, the two Wednesdays in the middle. Um, really, we'd be hoping to be geared up to new people, but getting new people on Zooms, it's like anything else, it's only a small percentage. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't want to keep on hearing my dulcet tones. So I am definitely wanting some feedback from you. It doesn't have to be tonight. Um, on what you'd like to see covered and also who would like to cover sections because I really do want to get some new, um, like for example, if we were doing I would sell on Facebook, put together a new one just to make it a little bit prettier. The old slides are a bit old looking. When you look back on old slides, you think, oh, <laughs> they look dreadful. Um, also changes that are there for the algorithm, but that's just an example, but also different trainers doing them so that when we send them to new people, it's not just one person doing all the trainings. That's what I was going to say. But tonight, when nobody, um, <laughs> nobody got back to me, <laughs> I decided in my infinite wisdom that we could cover retail but the majority tonight is catalogue retailers and online. If you use, if not all of you, do online as well. Um, but so I thought, I don't want to teach my granny how to suck eggs. So what I thought I might just cover very quickly, because I thought it would be useful, one, for people who are dipping their toe in Facebook or who haven't quite got the ball rolling on Facebook, but also for your new people when they get started, um, because not everybody will knock on doors and place a catalogue, um, which we know gets a better result, seemingly gets a better result, and not everybody will want to do online and vice versa, but if we get them started online, I thought that this wee training is just a good for you to mind that. It's based on the 21-day rule. Do you know what I mean? The, um, oh, gosh, what was his name? Randy Gage, initially it was an Andy Gage 21 day rule, but you know, 21 days to make a habit is very prominent. So I'll just do this very quickly. It's, um, I'm going to share screen because, I, and I will post it into the group because sometimes there's some things that we, I'm praying that it's not completely out of date. So I did update it just 
a few months ago. I'm just waiting on it sharing the screen. But it's just a good way, a nice, easy way to remind um, us. And it, it is a very short training, so don't worry. <laughs> because we have sizzled for a fair wee bit. Still thinking about my digital people to get finished and started on time. We did say a project clean sweep, and I completely forgot. You see, teamwork makes the dream work, guys. I have to trust you for memory as well. Um, we did say that we were going to open the room at 10 to 8. I'll start to promote that so that we can get started at 8 um, and finish by 9 or before 9. I don't know if you can see this yet, but just let me know. How have I got how Facebook works? Yeah, just got the net That's title. It. And that's nothing else. That's fine. Um, it's actually the first slide because they're coming out one at a time. Um, what I did, uh, I, oh, I've opened the wrong one. <laughs> Stop share. Sorry, folks, I just opened the wrong one. I, did, I had the, um, there we go, Lynn. Where is your 21 day rule one? It says 21 day rule. Still the same one. <laughs> My slides are playing up. This is why I like to edit. Oh, there we go. I guess that slide shouldn't really be in there, that first slide. I don't know how it got in there, so I'm just going to delete it because it doesn't belong there. And it completely confused me. I'm not going to edit this out. I'm just going to be natural because if I edit it out, it means I can't put it into the group right away. Um, right, Facebook new distributor 21 top tips have called this, but it's also to say it's a good uh, guide for yourself. Um, now, even if you are selling on Facebook, um, so this is for a new person selling on Facebook, or if you are selling on Facebook, it's a good idea to keep adding yourself um, Tis many local buy and sell groups. Now, this will be dependent on your area, of course, um, because Jane, for example, very rural, doesn't have um, loads of really local, but she might go to Kilmarnock and Ayrshire, um, because people on your doorstep can be good as well. I get a lot of responses from Glasgow, for example, and we can drop ship them out there. Um, but to... to Keep the member to add yourself to groups. And also, if you're selling on Facebook, I'm doing a wee bit extra here. If you're selling on Facebook, you don't have to stay local. That's the only bit I want to really, really stress. I know Mary, for example, goes up and down the country. Um, I do as well, because it, when you every time you post on the marketplace, you can share it to groups. And you may run out of lo local groups if you're doing a lot of Facebook. Right. The learning how to edit your photographs um, isn't so important now. Um, I still use a wee, I still use a wee pick collage where you could maybe add the name of your shop, or you may want to add work from home or the price. Um, I still think it's a good idea to make it individual to yourself, but as you know, the Facebook algorithm changes all the time. Um, but I still tell new people just to edit it, but I just pop a name on it. The little pick collage, really, really good. And you can crop out the advert. Um, again, if they're brand new, set up your own Facebook selling group, which most of you have got up and running. All of you have got up and running, should I say, and set at least 20 products into your group. Now, this is for the new person. Before they share your group, you want to tell them to put products into the group, but also teach them the marketplace straight away. Because every product that they put into their own brand new group, they can share every single product onto the marketplace and if they're in groups, they can share some of them on groups, not all 20 of them, which you know would lead to a ban. And then invite all your friends into your Viva MK online group. 
Again, if you've already got a group up and running, it might be worthwhile having a wee look through your friends and making sure everybody's there and all your new friends are into there. Sometimes people get started in your team and then they, get, they stop. Get them into your selling group. <laughs> See if they like the products enough to buy them from you. Invite all your friends, as I say. But the biggest thing there, little asterisk, is to space things out. Now, start with people you know outside uh, Facebook as well as on Facebook. Uh, so once you've spoken to everybody you know, um, on you know, because that's when we said, if you go back to number five, we knew people, we tell them to start with people that they know outside Facebook as well as on Facebook. That's the best warm market is the people that they know. Um, and just send them a message, introducing them to your Facebook group and the income opportunity. There's a little just set message. You can give them a wee help with that because if they're sending their friends a message about the Facebook group, they might as well say, I'm looking for people to get started. Ask your friends to share your group with their friends. That's a big one. Friends will share your group, especially if they like the products. Um, and keep adding at least six to 10 new products into your group daily. Now, this may be as a product, just a photograph. Um, might be a little short video. Might be putting the flip book. Um, but remember to do your normal posts as well. Share all the products on the marketplace. Now, clearly a new person, if they're posting 20 products, they can share all of them on the marketplace. There is no limit to the marketplace. It doesn't have the same footprint because it's an app, it doesn't have the same footprint as the Facebook app. I know it's an app within an app, but it still doesn't have the same footprint. But you don't want to share a new person or yourself even. You don't want to, especially if you're just starting to grow. If you're new to Facebook or just starting to grow on Facebook, the tip is the same. Um, like Jeff said, he started to make a goal to put X amount of products into Facebook every single day. If Jeff suddenly started to put um, 20 products on to 20 buy and sell groups tomorrow, these are the sort of activities that could lead to a ban. You've got to build up. So with the marketplace, no footprint, but only two to three products to share on 20 of the buy and sell groups. I know that will make sense to everybody here, but for new people watching the video, speak to your sponsor about point number nine and it says there increase this gradually you can gradually increase to three or four on the marketplace with further 20 groups and you can build that footprint up as strong as you can but if you're posting in the marketplace you might as well post on a further 20 groups build it up as i say gradually the reason i'm saying that is the whole idea is to get the vmk name out there to get your name out there as a VMK distributor, to get your products out there. And if people are seeing them on the buy and sell groups, sometimes the comment, this is the way that I personally grow people into my group. But if people comment or like it, I'll comment back. Eventually, as it says there, you'll be able to share all to further 20 groups, but this is when you're posting five to 10 products a day. Um, but I would still recommend you space them throughout the day. People sometimes do, um, what are they called? The advanced posts. I don't do them ever. What are they called when you, automated posts? What's the right name for them? Or someday? Scheduling. Scheduling. You mm -hmm. can schedule posts as well. Um, and if you want to talk about that, then you can. I don't do that very often because it used to lead to a ban. Each product or sponsor an advert on the marketplace can be renewed every seven days up to five times. So, Jeff, now that you're doing more in the marketplace as a new marketplace seller or doing more in the marketplace, 
you can now, if you've been doing it for a week, you can now go in there and renew them all. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. Thank you. I knew you would because we all forget to do it when we first get started. I've always got to remind myself, even now, I've even got a wee picture of that one. <laughs> renew your listing. You can see all the picture is still with the ash I do, which I love. You're but Lynn, do not get Lynn. Lynn, do you not get an automatic message from Marketplace? I do. No, you only get it for one and every so often. You didn't get it for all your products. I get it through Messenger, but I don't get it for all of them. I get it for about one in ten. All right, it's not all of them, Mary. So that's why I go into the app and renew them. Yeah. Um, but while you're building up your Facebook footprint, you can always go back at another time. This is your marketplace post that you haven't decided. So while you're posting, you can maybe put 10 products on the marketplace, but only shared two or three of them with 20 other groups. You can always go back at another time later on in the day and share them to another 20 groups or the, the next day or whatever to share with more. The limit is 20 plus the marketplace. Right, 10 in the box demonstrations when your products arrive and also take photographs. I like to use the photographs, but also like to quite like to use the some of the photographs from Viva MK because some of them look quite nice. Um, product demonstration videos, which I need to kick myself because I'm loving the Viva MK sparkle. But uh, and I actually used it for the, a stain on the, the problem is when the kids do something, you're that quick to get it taken up that you're. You forget about the video, but I used it for a stain on the day bed and it's came up amazing. The whole day bed cover looks fantastic. So product demonstration videos. Again, you don't have to show your face. Um, most of these are doing these in the box demonstrations and demonstration videos or using other people's videos. But if it's a new person, it's just getting them, see how much they want to do to develop themselves but if you're using someone else's videos learn how to save them so you can post it as an original video so how to save them i use the facebook friendly app and then i put it on aviva videos that way you might want to put something at the beginning the name of your shop at the beginning or the end um so buy a product, I'll put it there, buy a product and do a before and after demonstration. Um, your own testimony is better than any other testimony. And that's why I'm annoyed at myself because I'm loving the Viva MK Sparkle. I really like it. Understand and learn how Facebook interaction and Facebook footprint works. Uh, watch how to create interaction. I'm not going to go into that now. But it does say here, the more people who like or comment on your post, the more people who will see them in your news feed. So your own comments are vital. So, so if somebody likes your product um, or comments, it, if it's on a buy and sell group or if it's on your own shop, it's vital that you take advantage of that because um, your own comments and other people comments are vital not only to improve your footprint but it encourages the responses and it gets you onto the news feed uh, videos receive three times more interaction according to facebook and i would say going live definitely gets more interaction um because these notifications for going live you have to click on it if you didn't i like them to not be blue Facebook stories, these are all using them really well. We can sponsor on Facebook, anyone. Now this one here, I want to talk about this on another training, but anyone you come into contact with on Facebook, whether it's asking about a product, just asking about it, because you know that one in five probably ask about a product and don't buy. Um, but if they're asking about a product, always, always take the opportunity to ask. You know, once the conversation finishes, we maybe send them to look at our product group or they're maybe already in their product group, but it is just a matter of saying, well, don't suppose you know, hope you don't mind me asking. Before you go, I don't suppose you know. 
And it's a good idea to teach your new people to do the same. Post sponsoring adverts on the marketplace. Uh, now, your sponsoring advert might be disguised under a, a, a product or a selection of products, but you can get them onto the marketplace and onto 20 groups. So you'll find some adverts won't be approved. This is the interesting thing. Some of the adverts I put on don't get approved by the marketplace, but they're still posted on 20 other groups. Right, and the reason they don't get approved is because it's a selling advert that I get caught selling, not selling, sponsoring an advert and I get caught because I'm not always that subtle. I sometimes take the chance. But if you post on the marketplace, you can share it to 20 groups much quicker than you could if you were doing it annually. Facebook now shows you which groups have not approved your advert. Don't know if you know that. Facebook shows you, if you go back to any advert, it shows you which ones have not approved it. Um, this lets you manage your groups because if, like, if there's a group that's continually not approving your advert, then this will help you to manage your groups. Get rid of it. If they're not approving any of them, it might just be one advert they've not approved. It might just be you're sponsoring an advert you've not approved. And remember, this will probably come up somewhere. <laughs> Post income opportunity adverts using discussion posts is another way of doing it. Just a normal discussion post, which I know you do on your walls, and I know you do these into groups, but you can do them also through the marketplace and 20 other groups. But as I say, it doesn't really matter if they don't accept it. You can sneak them in. We've got... We've got a better idea of Facebook now. Post product videos or income opportunity videos into buy and sell groups. Lots of buy and sell groups allow videos take advantage of it. Especially now with lots, most videos, like most of my videos, has autoplay now. They've all got, most of them have got autoplay. So you can do a product video or an opportunity video into the buy and sell groups. These need to be posted as a discussion post. Unless the marketplace has changed, you can't do videos on it. Get to know your group members. This is your own group. And let them get to know you. So that's po posting your personal stuff, your photographs, your lifestyle, your pets, <laughs> anything. Do not post about um, the war. <laughs> Do posts that require them to answer. So it's called interactive posts. Um, so ask a question. Could be about anything. Could be about Christmas trees. It could be about spring. It could be, you see loads of examples. Uh, but what you can do is you can actually just go to Google and Google interactive Facebook posts and get some help. I mean, my, my most, the one I've got the most activity was a, a pet, a, 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 a just for fun, cutest pet competition. Got hundreds of pictures of pets and loads of interaction. Number 20, do a Facebook party. Still going on about the parties, which reminded me we've not done one for a while, I'm saying we. You can do it as an event or just promote it and post it into your group, your page, your wall. But if you do it as an event, you can do as an event, you can do it as, you know, you with an event, you can do it as your Facebook page. For example, Lynn Max online parties is one of my pages, or you can do it as yourself. But if you're doing it in your group, you can share it on your pages, you can share it on your wall, you can share them loads of places. Um, and you can do these event parties without going live. That's still there for the new people. But most of us are confident to go live. And number 21 is just teach everyone in your team to do the same and watch your business explode. Um, and I'm not going to go into that, but I have put there step in, step outside Facebook, which uh, many of you are doing. There's many other ways to sell and sponsor online. And if you haven't already, create a YouTube channel for your products and include the income opportunity. YouTube is definitely 
and that a massive advantage to our business and it's becoming a bit like um, Zoom Wars and Facebook Wars when we first started Facebook, when we're all going, oh, Facebook, selling on Facebook. YouTube's really a massive tool that um, I know Mr. and Mrs. Enthusiastic are using it well, but I, I know that I'm not, so I'll put my hand to that. So I just thought I'd cover the 21-day rule. Um, is there anything you think it could needs changed in there? Do you think that's a useful wee tool? Does it was there anybody's memory refreshed just by going through that? No, that was really good. Yeah. 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 What what I lack is things like how do you do those things? It is um like how do I find out which groups are allowing and which ones aren't allowing? I, I well, don't know how to do that. Well, all you need to do is with Right, with or you mean if you go to your Facebook app, can I post it into the A team so I'm not doing a, like wasting the last 10 minutes of the Zoom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if just when you um, screenshots into the A team after the Zoom, yeah, but it's yeah. on the app, it's on the app, and when you put everything <coughs> does, it'll give yeah. you a list of where you've posted it. And yeah, then, no, the, the tips are great, but if someone says, How do you do that? I ain't got a clue. So yeah, what you, you need yeah, to be able to do the this stuff. The twenty-one day rule is to be followed up by trainings on each. Day. That's a refresher. That's a is the twenty-one day rule or twenty-one day twenty-one top tips. There, I see where you're coming from. That's a good question. Thank you for that question, even if it took me just to understand. That I probably should have explained that at the beginning, but because I've showed you guys it before. Um, it's it's a guideline. It's there to guide us. Yeah. It's there to get if like you at the moment, who's you're doing more selling on Facebook now and more promoting on Facebook, that's a good guideline for you. But also as a new person, good yeah. guideline for you as a trainer, take your yeah. new person through it. Um and a good guideline for the new person. So you would work through each yeah, yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I understand that, but I, I think we also need. The explanation this is just a summary the headline but with, with the training or somewhere you need to explain yeah. why you don't do that i think the explanation with the video would normally would be with me but you're absolutely right jeff uh, because i've normally just uh, that's been scheduled on a powerpoint to do here but if we're putting it out as a training in microsoft word just a little introduction just a reminder it's 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 top tips which your sponsor will go through with you a step at a time and train you on each section there. But the reason it's putting the tips is so it's not in any particular order apart from the fact that you do need to start adding yourself to buy and sell groups um, and set up your Facebook. <clears throat> I think I think the, that training is a really good overview because everybody that joins yeah. your business has got a different level of skill and you don't know how experienced people are or otherwise when they join your team. Mm -hmm. So if they see something like that with 21 top tips, you're then able to go back and discuss it with them further and say, is there anything there that you'd like clarification on? You know, what, what do you know about Facebook? What, what you know, or, or other platforms? What have you been using them for? What do you do at the moment? Um, and to specifically answer that question, Jeff, that you asked about how, how do you know which groups allow certain things like video marketing, et cetera. That's what I thought it was asking. Most, most, groups, most groups have got the rules pinned to the top. If you go onto the group, and, and usually it's on the featured section now that will give you the group rules or scroll down the group or put in a keyword. Okay. So, so yeah, Jane, yeah, yeah. Said, Jane no, always says you, in her trainings to, for example, it, if you wanted Kate, to put on. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand that bit, Kate. It was yeah. um, those who... When I put them on Marketplace, I, I, I know some of them approve. Some don't need any approval at all and just go on. Mm -hmm. um, but there are some who are not approving. And I wanted to know which ones are not approving because I'll just uh, come out of those groups if they're not. Yeah. How yeah, do well, I that's find what, that That's what I thought you were asking. Is yeah. and, then I, as, and then I thought about the video. I thought, same as Kate, you were asking about the video. No, part. No. Yeah. He was generalising. That's the one I'm going to put. I'll, I'll need to do it in screenshots, but yeah, basically, as far as my memory serves me, you go to the product or the post, and then it shows you, if you click on it, the groups that you've shared it with, it should be under the actual product. Okay. 
Which is, okay. um, yeah, it normally lists. So under, if you go into the original listing, it will share it, underneath them. the list of places you've put it. Okay. Um, I tend to, if there's groups that don't accept it, it tends to pop up in my notifications it and says an actually, admin, yep. an admin has auto, it, your post has been declined, and it, sometimes it's the admin assist and it's automatically declined. Sometimes the admin will say we don't do certain posts, and like you say, Jeff, through trial and error, there will be posts, there will be groups that keep reoccurring where it's it's not doing you any favors being in them because yeah. every time you try and share something, it's being knocked back, so you can just leave them. But it is trial and error, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really because yeah. some of them are automatically knocked back because they have yeah. admin questions. Yep. Yeah, no, but, but, the, right. but the only way to no, find out is to do it. So. Admin questions when yeah. you join the group. Join. Some of them, some of them, when you share them, have this thing about saying that you it's got fewer than ten characters or fewer than ten words or something like that. Um, which, when you share the post, obviously it does have it in there. But some groups have got this admin assist tool set up now to, to, to stop viral videos and things like that being put in. You know these spam videos uh -huh. that you keep seeing. Yeah. Um, yeah. But once this admin assist tool takes over. It's kind of hard to. I'm not about to raise my hand. Go away, iPad. Um, <laughs> it's very, it's very hard to get around that. Unfortunately, the admin assist. Like we have a local group that was taken over by admin assist, haven't we? Mm. And the two group admins we actually know, and it, it, it's a tyrant for trying to. Present. They can't stop. They it can't doing stop it. it doing it as the actual admins, and this automatic thing has now taken over. Where if you are. If you're sharing a post into the group and you've not put at least 10 words in your little bit that you want to share with it, it's yeah. automatically deleted. If it's a video with a popular sound or popular title, it's automatically deleted. So unfortunately, I think for us who've possibly been in some groups a while, I'm finding the certain groups that have been took over by these automated robots that I'm just having to leave them because where, mm -hmm. however long ago in Clean Easy, they were useful, they're not now because these automatic yeah. things have taken over. Yeah. So it's just trial and error, really. Okay, yeah. thank you. Oh, God. The only thing I was going to ask, have you tried to do just like a normal discussion post and test out the bot? Yeah, that works. So they usually work fine. It's when you share, it's if I've shared like Sparkle Team stuff. Martin you know, if you go to share the video. Mm. Like, because you could probably do a discussion and you could yeah. possibly post a video. But that's a good thing to let us know because if some of them are just the bots not allowing us in just simply because I've not got 10 characters, then what you can do, if you can be bothered or you can just shelf them, what you can do is you can have a quick look and see which posts have been approved <laughs> and see. Or yeah, yeah, absolutely. See what is than, getting approved. Rather, rather than delete a group that's been working mm. for you or that, you know, that could work for you. But, you know, there's plenty yeah. of groups, there are plenty of groups out there, but, for instance, there are some groups, like the McCalder one in my area works really well for me, and the Broxburn one. So if, if they started to not approve my posts, that's a very good thing to know, Abby. Yeah. Because if that kicked me out, then I would go back and see why it's kicked me out, and have, yeah. a, have a look and see what it's accepting. J Jane's got a query. Yeah, <laughs> Jane's wee hands up. Sorry, Jane. <laughs> but no, it's fine. It, it's not so much a query. It's more because, like many of the rest of you, I'm admin in quite a few groups. The discussion posts. Um, I know if I'm doing it on my phone, discussion posts, you actually have to go into to see them. And I reckon that in a group that has an excess of 20,000 members. I reckon if there's four discussion posts in a week, um, that's probably an average, which will probably mean that if you're going on to, if people are going on to those groups, they're looking at the buy and sell posts, they're not looking at the discussion. <clears throat> probably. So, you're right there, Joe. Mm. The discussion mm. posts on there, but what I, I guess that I should amend what I said there. Go manually and try and put a product on manually, but um, yeah, I don't think I was meaning for one of the tips in your and that you had in. Oh, the thing about there putting, about putting sponsoring posts on as a discussion. Well, it's a twenty-one day 
tips, so you'll need to think another one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I was just thinking there's nothing wrong with doing it, but <coughs> I would suggest that you're going to. But I just thought that a lot, a of, much the, lower a lot of the audience. promotion, a lot of the promotion in the in the prospecting groups are discussion posts and and prospect. Well, I, I could be wrong, but there was an awful lot lately where the group, the type of group, uh, changed. A lot of the groups. Um. Did they not make them or suggest that they should buy and sell? And if you didn't make them buy and sell, if you didn't bring them into that... Uh, but if it's a work for home opportunities and the, which is most, to be fair, I think the buy and sell groups work better to promote our opportunity. And there's loads of ways, you know, on a buy and sell post where you can just put work from home on your product picture. You know, I mean, yeah, there's so yes. many ways. There's so yes. many ways. I would say that that's probably yeah, you, the best the, way. The discussion post. Sponsoring poster. I'll look into that because I don't use discussion posts, and you were somebody who used them a lot. I used them a lot. You used them a lot. I so used your them opinion, most of the time. Your opinion, doing though. Your opinion mm. would be more. <laughs> your opinion would be more valuable than mine because I didn't use them a lot. But no, I Abby, used them a lot. I used them a lot. Abby had a hand up. Sorry. No, no, it's okay, Jane. Carry on. I, I, I can, it's not. Oh, I thought she was finished. I thought we were. I'm just... finished. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it was only to go back to the interaction stuff that you were saying before, and to be fair, now I'm looking at them. We are there's combinations of us that are in the two groups that I'm in. There's a post. There's a group on Facebook called Interactive Posts for Network Marketers. Yep. And they upload. You. I was going to say, Kate, you're in it. I use it all yep. the time they upload different interaction posts every few days of things that they've found. And it's become quite a bank of resources, really. Yeah. Um, so that's quite a good one for taking stuff from. And I use, I tend to go on every month, really, and just schedule stuff every other day into my selling group. I don't do one every day because I can't always find one for every single day. Um, and there's another one called interactive posts for your groups as well. Um, and I tend to get most of my interaction stuff from there. Mm. So they're coming yep. quite handy for people scheduling things for their online shops and things like that. It's a good idea. And also go to Google as well, though, because the only problem yeah. with Facebook, again, is back to if too many people use the same. I suppose, though, if there's a lot of posts on that group, if you go back to four or five weeks prior, one, you know, you're probably yeah. able to. Yeah, that's uh, true. I, I did have that argument, that kind yeah. of argument. In I, the I, I, I mm. use I picky, and I find that even if you just put, you personalise it again, you know, put put a couple of dots in or something. Aye. You know, you can change so it that, a bit. You can change so it that the bit. algorithms don't just. I put, I agree with that actually, Jane. I use pick collage to put white borders around things a lot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's why I was, that's the algorithm picking up. It's just back to the, the reason that we go back to the very, 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 very early days is when everybody in Queenies started selling on Facebook. Mm. Uh, this, my batteries, well, I forgot to, I've got the battery charger there, but I've not plugged it in. Give me a second, guys. Oh, she's got down. Let's all disappear. I, don't, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have normally bother, but it's it's going to end up disappearing on me. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what in the old days it was that butterfly jewelry box. Remember, it was the very first picture that mm -hmm. ever went toxic and got bans. And yeah, the, true. <laughs> and that's when we remembered, and it was because more and more people were using the same pictures. We hadn't got bans before. But the, when, the more and more people in Clunies that started to sell online, the more that picture, the algorithm picked it up right away. And I always remember it was definitely the butterfly jewelry box. It was the first experience. Oh, God, we, yeah. That was the first experience of the band product, I remember. But I'd be, I don't mind if somebody, um, what's the word? No, there was. It was it was that first K Life catalogue when we were getting Pug all get. the pug gate, the pug bedding. The pug yep. bedding was on as well. And the pug bedding sold really well, but I can't yeah. remember it going uh, toxic. But I think it's because we sold too many. They sold it within half an hour. The pug That's right. For that catalogue going live within half an hour, the pug doobies were sold out 
I love the pug doobies. We sold they were good, weren't they? Yeah, we need more <laughs> doggy doobies. Like, Michael not taking the hint with all the doggies that's getting moving in HQ. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think Smokey, Smokey needs his own ra range of merchandise. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> don't mind oh, but I mean, dog, but would I want to sleep with one in my bed? No. <laughs> no, but I would like a wee doobie. The people buy them, they buy the pillows with the doggies on them, the rest of the pillow doggy. Mm -hmm. Every time you had a wee bestie or a staffy, people would say, Do you have a chihuahua? Do you have the dash hound? Do you yeah, have this? Yeah, yeah, that's so true. Things with doggies sell. Somebody message Michael. Right, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, Jane, you were going to say something. No, no, oh. I was licking my lips. I thought you were going to say, I don't want a doggy on my duvet. <laughs> I do like the, the, the yellow, the lemon, the yellow one with the chihuahuas is quite sophisticated looking. But since my daughter had pugs, the pug movie was very popular in our household. <laughs> well, thanks everybody. Hopefully, the, now next week's going to be Michael's. So is the, the last day of the period. We won't, we don't have a leaders meeting this week. Um, what I would like is to think since it's all our leaders on tonight, um, is what you would like to see on the Wednesday webinars. We do one that would be geared up to new people, but it'd be great if everybody, you know, could just do everything. So, you know, for maybe next Wednesday, it'll be the next again Wednesday, two weeks tonight, um, somebody else could do the training. And I look forward to getting inundated with messages <laughs> on my Facebook Messenger. <laughs> and if I don't get inundated, at least give me an idea of what topic, and then I, so, I will select somebody. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're all wonderful, Trina. I know you could all do it. <coughs> you don't have to decide tonight, but what I've found, I'm learning from my experience, what I've found, if you don't tell me right now, you won't message me. <laughs> Sorry, I've had these dates but I didn't get the message back. <laughs> and they're all been on Zoom. <laughs> Nobody saying anything. Man, these are such hard work. I need to edit this now. These are not hard work. These are amazing, wonderful leaders. Um, and so I'm going to pick a subject. It is how to sell on. No, not how to sell on Facebook. I can't pick a subject. Come on, like, you just have to message me. Lynn, I don't mind doing some training on scheduling things online because I have to do everything scheduling on Facebook, like sponsoring, interact, you know, all that sort of stuff. I don't mind doing some training on scheduling stuff, but... Excellent. I can't, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to do it on a Wednesday, is all. I could pre-record it and you could play it on a Wednesday and you guys could just watch it. That's, you know. Yeah. Um, but I'm not usually, obviously tonight's an exception. I'm not usually, I'd normally You're just be in, so. She tells me she could do a wonderful training and then say the can I do it. But not on a Wednesday. <laughs> I can't do it on a Wednesday, no. I, I, mean, I mean, the short training video and things like that would be really beneficial that we could include that solidly idea. Thank you so much. Because I don't use schedule posts much, but I do know that Michael's, Michael's ones he puts every day mm. are scheduled. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I know that schedules don't lead to bands the way they used to. They used to lead to bands. And they're really useful. Somebody miss. I bet this is some down here. Selling on next door. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I've got a date. Selling on next door. Yep. Um, that's a good idea. Good um, I'm, idea. I'm, 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 um, I've had a lot of success with Vinted as well in the last Ooh. 10 days or so. That's a, that would be a, a mini training that would take all of two minutes to do. But. Well, there'll be many on, a wee mini on Vinted. We've got a mini yep. with Vinted for Minted. Yep. Uh, Vinted, uh, actually, I do know about Vinted and we spoke about it. Um, and, you know, before Kate did it, would have thought it would have been quite an exclusive marketplace and it'd be hard to find which products fall into it. So it might be more than a couple of minutes, Kate. It might be a few minutes just to give yep. us an idea of what products you are selling on Vinted. Mm -hmm. Vinted is alternative type of stuff, the kind of stuff that my daughter would like. Or the antique looks and different homemade stuff and 
Uh, but Kate has been dying to talk to us about Vinted. There's no negatives, is there, Kate? Apart from the yeah. fact that it's, it's, it's so Vinted. That that's something to get looking into for the next, the next two weeks' time. Um, Abby will do a wee short video and we can still get next door in there because if these trainings will all be like next door literally will be a short training mm -hmm. um, but it's got quite a lot of um, different sides to it yep. yeah we've got the training for two weeks time I'm mega organised Kate's doing her bit Abby's doing her bit and um, we can chat about who does next door I think me and Kate's probably using it the most. Yeah. Are you using it, Nigel and Amanda? Are you using next door? You are using it. Good night, Jane. 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 There's Jane. something I want to ask about next door. Oh, you're not there now. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to use it, but when I do some posts, I'll get some like love art, and also I'll get like unhappy faces. What does that, is that what it means, unhappy? That means they're pissed off with you. Is that what it means? <laughs> no, sometimes I get, a, next door is a funny wee app. Next door, just like your next door neighbour, is just a funny wee app. I, th I think, I, I personally I, think. Can I finish my sentence? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to finish that sentence because what I've noticed is some people don't like you advertising your business on Facebook. So they give you a wee angry face. But I just yeah. completely ignore them. Okay. Yep. Over I was going to say that quite a lot in my particular area on next door, um, which is a vast area actually, because there's not a lot of people in my immediate vicinity that are using it. So my um, area is about probably a, a 40 mile radius all around me. Um, but I find that um, a lot of people who use next door are not particularly experienced with social media in general. So, so you get people that are completely unaware and they go on and they come on and they go, I'm 85 and I live on my own at this address with my wee cat and things like that. And, and they just, they, they've got no awareness of security or privacy or anything like that, or what they say might be misconstrued or whatever. We get people coming on all the time that only want to tell jokes. We get people coming on. There's a, there's a, a person in another network who's completely pissed everybody off because they just post, you know, all the time and keep inviting people to their their group and they're to the point where they're actually a pest and even I think they're a pest mm -hmm. but there is a there is a facility where the type of post you're putting on can be a sale post or an advertising post and there's a place for that and um, if you if you go to post it'll say but okay, we're say doing a training on it does it does it say no, we're post doing something for sale or free and um, you can use that facility and it wouldn't annoy anybody then I've seen we're doing a training in two weeks. Are we going to do a training next door, are we? <laughs> I'm going to do it. I thought we just had it. <laughs> That's why I tried oh. to stop everything. Because, again, because the notice board is actually where I get most of my response by. That's Kenny Why Kate is right. There is uh, a place you can go, but the, right. I don't want to really cover it tonight. Sorry, Kate. But <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> I, just, uh, I, I was trying to get it. The, I'm just going to I'm just going to go on to it and see what what the name of it is when you go to post hang on. Yeah, but I'll do a train. We'll do a train on it yeah. because I am um, the notice board is where I get most of my reactions. For I do get sales, oh, wow. but I do get comments. It, and I would say ignore ignore it. Ignore the, mm -hmm. the the responses. If if people are annoyed with you, they can mute you on next door. I think, yeah. I, I think they've accidentally done it. Yeah, and you can mute them as well, so it's, it shouldn't be an issue. Present and endorse de demos. I have noted with the angry faces, I'm going to their wall, but they're selling stuff themselves, so yeah. that's always a bit confused. So ah, I'll yeah. put them in an angry face them. on as well. Just, just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing right. I mean, you're going to have no friends you are if you keep that up. <laughs> Oops. Did I if, they're, if, they're, if they're selling stuff they're sell, then I think yeah. that's a wee bit naughty of them to dislike your post. Yeah, but, he says they've given me an angry face, so I'm giving them an angry face. Uh, but I was <laughs> like this, with, uh, with next door, I thought it was an angry face, then I put my glasses on and it was a love heart. <laughs> I did have a couple of guys having a conversation about 
my turn down to any post and one guy said about block them out. I thought, can you do that? So I'll block them first. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned something new for those two guys. So fair, fair play. I mean, it's funny last thing last time. This is really going to be quite funny because I think face uh, next door is going to be just like the early days in Facebook and except there is no police and night night Angela. Oh, there is. There night, actually is. Angela. Night. The tenants do finish finish officially at nine. I just forgot to say that tonight <sighs> in case anybody does have to go like we did. But um, yes, it's going to be quite amusing as it grows and it'll be dependent it's really very area dependent yeah um my area is quite good um i've not got any complaints about it I just apart from my complaint that i need to do more on it um so yeah that and a doorstep presentations um would be a good idea to do door presentations um, do i know it's normally um Janet that does these, but because they're imminent house move, which is never imminent in the, the way the English selling system well, works, because really we never... Yeah, I just thought that it's it's the same kind of thing, you're actually talking to people, so... Well, you know. that's why I thought it'd be good if we could get other people, because normally we put that, put that on through. Janet's lap. Just risk the conservation. Don't have an argument when you're not on mute. <laughs> Is that an argument? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still on next door, right? I'm trying to ask another question. <laughs> right. question no, I forgot we weren't on mute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's I was on about Steve and, and Janet because that car ended up in their garden. Yeah. I know. Oh, did the ca what car ended up in the garden? No, look at Steve's were... post. See that? Sorry? Look at Steve's post on Facebook. I've not, oh, clearly I've not been on Facebook when I'm... But was it just just happened, like? No, I'll, no, I'll, no. I'll have a look after the... This yeah, the early hours of the morning, yeah. The oh, car yeah. ended up on its side, straight through their, their garden, just <laughs> missing the conservatory. Oh, God, thank God that missed the house. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm wondering if my wee auto um, generator, if my auto text, is what it's going to type in there for house. Oh, this one, the auto generator, the auto generator, you know, the text on the, yeah. the videos. It's really, really very good. Night, night, Kate. Should we go to get night, that night. one? <laughs> night, night. Night, night. Like, this is not getting edited. It's getting fired up there, even with the chit chat at the end like this, and even with Nigel and Amanda having the fight. I'll just ignore it so I make some odds to me. I'm just going <laughs> to... Ignore no, but, what, no, but, what, Jeff, just to finish, Jeff, what you were saying, I didn't know about the car in the house, but it might be a good idea, though, for us to do... Other people, what they would maybe say, uh, because Janet's so good at it and it's so natural to her that we maybe would be a good idea to practice little other wee scripts. Uh, oh, and something that. interactive, perhaps. Could make it interactive. We could give that a go. You can be. You can take control of that one. Um. Yep. You can take control of that one. Yeah, certainly. It's only a 10 minute one, I would say, as well. But you know, I mean, we've got a few wee ideas there. Next one, we'll do the next door. Um, Abby, when you can let us know when your wee video is ready, darling. Appreciate yep. that for the interaction on Facebook. I'm surprised she's not done it already. <laughs> she, I'm good, Jeff, but I'm not that good. My phone's dead. <laughs> um, get a wee video there. Um, and the doorstep presentations, Jeff, I think would wait until the next one where we were covering catalogue retail and maybe do both on the same night. Somebody can do the generic how to retail with the catalogues, how to build a strong catalogue customer base. And then you could maybe put something together for that. So we've got um, yeah. somebody other than your wee Janet. <laughs> Can't kind of believe he's had a car in his front door just selling the house. Thank goodness it didn't hit the house. That would 
the thought that I feel. These cars were in, thank goodness, these cars were in the driveway. We're in that area, she said. We're not on mute. Said, what did you say about the area? <laughs> Look, he's trying to put on you. Too late. Oh, stop. It's done now. It's, so, it's gone straight on the rhino group. Does this mean I have to go on YouTube now? <laughs> I mean, it's a very, it's a lovely area they're in. <laughs> um, I must have been a drunk driver, though. But they're in a car. They sir. said it was stolen. The police knocked on the front door and said, do you know there's a car in your back garden? And it's gone straight through the back wall. Apparently oh, it was stolen. Back garden. And he's climbed out. He's climbed out through the boot. He's smashed the window and climbed out through the boot, apparently, because the Did window, what was, was left of the window, was fucking blood. Did you see he was drunk? Uh, well, I don't, it was stolen, the, the police said. Stolen. Joy so, label. could have been. Oh my goodness. Imagine mm. if that had been a summer night and you were in your garden. Yeah. Unbelievable. It, only with Steve and Janet, it's like two cars and... Anyway, I'm not going to say what I was thinking because that would be bad luck. So I'm glad that they're okay and that their house is okay because they're selling it. It's sold. <laughs> right. Thank you so much, everybody. It was a good um, wee session tonight. Um, just even sharing the ideas. Um, I'll check on to make sure what your argument and everything that not everything you've been misbehaving the night, Nigel and Amanda. Just when, <laughs> just when I'm trying to put the videos straight into the Rhino team, so I don't need to edit them. <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's going straight in. Who wants to see, who wants to close the meeting tonight? I think I should make Amanda do it as punishment. <laughs> yeah, I think so. She'd had a lot to say for herself. <laughs> she, she was tired last week. Probably not nice. Oh, she's on coils. Oh, I'm mute. <laughs> she's all shy. Anyway, anyway um, yeah. Um, sorry we were late. <laughs> but um, lots of great information tonight. And um, a good sizzle. Or a sizzle. Um, <laughs> And um, you can all clear off because I haven't eaten my tea. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to say see you Thursday in Michael's training. Okay, see you Thursday, Michael's training. Michael, no, it's not a training, is it? No, Michael's um, it's yeah. end of update. End of, Pardon? What's the official He's name? Okay, Michael's update is on Thursday at eight o'clock. Yeah, so usually. No yeah, it's yeah nice. eight o'clock. So we will see you there for the update. And we will see you the following Wednesday at eight o'clock for uh, another very informative evening on Next Door and anything else Come we on wish to discuss. <laughs> Good night. Say, say Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Enjoy Bye. your tea. Bye. Good night, Bye. everybody. Bye. Good night, Raymond. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Jeff. I just switch it off. You just press. I'll do this. End meeting for all. Thank